time and distance two boys start moving towards each other p and q uh the boy the first boy left point p 6 hours later than the second boy left point q so this is the first boy traveling like this second boy okay second boy uh, let me write it lower side Traveling like this. Now let's say they meet here, somewhere over here. Let's say this is the meeting point M. Now, by this time, uh, this guy, if he traveled for T hours, then this guy would be traveling for T plus 6 hours. Right? He'll be traveling for T plus 6 hours. So let me write everything related to the second person bottom. Everything related to the first person top. Right? So he will travel for T plus 6 hours because he started 6 hours early. And it is also given that at the meeting point, the first guy traveled 12 kilometers less, which means this distance, if I say x, then this distance will be x plus 12. Okay, he traveled 12 kilometers less. So if it is x here, then x plus 2 will be the other distance. After their meeting, they kept moving with the same speed and the first boy reached point Q 8 hours later. So the first boy takes 8 hours and the second boy takes 9 hours. Now consider your distance MQ. In your MQ, ratio of time, time of first boy by time of second boy should be equal to inverse ratio of your speeds, speed of second boy by speed of first boy. What is this ratio? First boy's time is 8, second boy's time is t plus 6. Similarly, consider your pm length. Time of first boy by time of second boy should be speed of second boy by speed of first boy because time and speed are inverse ratios. For the pm length, time taken by the first boy is t. Time taken by the second boy is 9. Now notice these two are the same ratio which means these two are equal. So you will get 8 by t plus 6 equal to t by 9 or this gives you 72 is equal to t square plus 16 or you will get from here t square plus 60 minus 72 equal to 0. So what would be the possibility 12 6 are 72. So this is t plus 12 into t minus 6 equal to 0 t is minus 12 t is equal to 6. So this is not considered because time cannot be negative, which means your t is 6 hours. So this guy takes 12 hours total. Now that's not what they're asking. They're asking find the speed of the faster boy. Whoever is faster, we have to find their, the, that person's speed. Now, uh, okay, so we have the speed ratio. So what is the speed of second boy by speed of first boy? It is t by 9. t is 6 by 9, which is 2 by so let's say their speeds are second boy speed is 2a and the third uh, the first boy speed is 3a so the faster guy is 3a so this guy is 3a and this guy is uh, this guy speed is 2a okay now we have to find the value of a to get your answer how do we do that now look at it uh, x distance is covered so what is x? Your x is speed into time, right? What is your speed for the first boy? First boy, uh, first boy speed is 2a, uh, right, sorry, 3a into time taken by the first boy is 6. So your x is 18a. Similarly, look at x plus 12. x plus 12 for the second boy x plus 12 for the second boy is speed into his time. His speed is 2a into time. What is time? Time is 12. So this is 24a. So look at these two, x and x plus 2. So x is 18a, x plus 12 is 24a. So put this here. So you'll get 18a plus 12 is 24a or you will get 12 equal to 6a or a equal to 2. If a equal to 2, then 3a is 6. That's your answer. Again, not uh, easy at all. It is not moderate also. 
it's because this concept is known for many students but it's the concept is, that's not a direct application of the concept after this concept also you have five six steps to do so this would ideally be called as a difficult if not difficult definitely between moderate and difficult level